Well, Uncle Captain, I'm off. You sure are. Hee <laughs> Where are you going, Cease? I'm going down underwater to visit my batty about baseball buddy, Little Homer, one of the 20,000 little leaguers under the sea. See you later, beanie boy. Okay, I'm going to see you soon. <laughs> and now here's Beanie and Cease Saloon about Clampus Cartoon. John meets Cowboy Star. Wiggly Field, the home of the 20,000 little leaguers under the sea. Yoo-hoo, little Homer! Yoo-hoo! Hey, that's strange. The diamond's deserted. I wonder where everybody got off to. Yoo-hoo, little Homer! Beanie's name will go down in history. He invented Beanie Copter that fly over land and sea. Just pull the string and through the air you zoom. And now here's Beanie and Cecil in a Bob Clampett cartoon. Beanie, Beanie Cap Copter. Hey, hey, Cease, come here quick. I got a letter from Washington. What does George have to say? Oh, Cease, Washington's been dead for almost 200 years. Well, none of us is perfect. Here, let me read that. <clears throat> Dear Beanie, your Beanie Copter invention looks very interesting. I'm Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr., and this is the firing range of the FBI Academy at Quantico, Virginia. This fall, during ABC's premiere week, you'll witness an important first in television, the premiere of an outstanding new dramatic series called The FBI. I'm happy to say that Quinn Martin Productions, in association with Warner Brothers, has been commissioned to recreate for television exciting stories based on cases investigated by this world-famous organization. In the series, I play Inspector Lou Erskine, and as you may have gathered, that's why I'm here. In order to ensure that every episode be completely authentic, I'm going through the same course of training given to every special agent of the Federal Bureau of Investigation. My role presents great challenge and great opportunity. And I promise you the first of many suspenseful evenings when you watch the premiere of the FBI this fall during ABC's great week of new entertainment. The Seventh Voyage of Sin Good. As our story opens, Captain Huffenpuff is heading towards the exotic city of Ashkanistan and its internationally famous supermarket place, Persian Square, where he will pocket a small fortune when he returns his cargo of empty bottles and collects the deposits. Big deal! Ha, ha, ha! Men, uh, according to the map, we've almost reached our destination. Ashkanistan. <laughs> We've already passed the Jinx Sphinx and the Looney Tombs, and we're now crossing the Dud Sea. <laughs> we should make a small fortune returning these empty bottles. From now on, we've got to keep an eyeball peeled for that sneak of Araby. That no good menace, Sin Good the Sailor Man. Sin Good the Sailor Man? I've got Cheerios Go 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 power. <laughs> We're flying high for Tricks, the corn cereal with the tangy taste of natural fruit. Fruit colors, too. And as we all know, tricks are for kids. Officer, officer, arrest that man! Why? What he does to me in next week's cartoon is a crime. Next week, friends, we're really heading for adventure. We're going to Cape Banana Peel and join Little Ace in the rat race for space. And we're going to play cat and mouse with a real swinging cat. Come face to face with a talking hat rat. You were calling perhaps Mama Moose, big boy? And that's just the beginning, folks. 
Faster, boy. Faster. Speed, speed. That's what we need. Keep that old power. Get him into the sail there, Dean Boy. Get that old kid. We make a ghost appearance at the world famous Hotel Fountain Boo. And it's there we meet the dreaded Boo Birds. <laughs> and that's not all. You're going to meet a poisonality named Boo Bailey and a real headstrong hammerhead shark. Yeah, but is it fresh? Ooh, is it? <laughs> And what a wild chase, folks, when we run into that giant of giants, Ping Pong. You just got to see it. Why not? Cecil was brought to you by the Big G Cereals of General Mills, makers of the Toasty Oat Cereal with Go, Cheerios.